Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire. Today we're going to discuss how to navigate through this uh, draw pile up top right here. Now the first idea that most of us are going to have is let's just play every single card we see and uh, you know work our way down uh, solving it that way. However if you'll notice right here we just ran out of moves so maybe there is a different way of uh, solving this we could quit but uh, no we don't want to do that here so let's go ahead and uh, back up to where we were at the start so you can see this 10 of diamonds right here this card's not playable this card's not playable this card's not playable what do we do all right let's go back to the start here uh, well there were two options here you could play this and you could play this but we know that doesn't work. So instead of just playing both of those cards, what if we, what about, uh, you know, just playing this 10 of diamonds right here? If we play that 10 of diamonds, what that's going to do is pull the six down. And the six of hearts can go right down here below the seven of spades. So that opens up another move because the six of hearts is going to be at the very top of that pile. Versus if we pulled, if we were to pull two cards, we pull the five of spades, then the next card at the top of the pile is going to be the two of clubs. Well, that two of clubs is a really bad card because we don't have the ace of clubs out there. And it kind of uh, bottlenecks us even more. So in this circumstance, what we're going to do is just play this ten of diamonds right here off the top. And then we'll pull down one card and see if we have, you know, a, a different set of options. And you never know which one works the best. You know, you got to kind of try it out. But at least in this circumstance, we have more options. We know that doing the five of spades doesn't, doesn't work. So let's go ahead and go through here again. This nine of clubs is also going to come down, which is even better because we're only pulling one card instead of two. If the nine of clubs goes right here, that means we can move, open up this column here by moving up the eight of diamonds right here. So let's go ahead and go through the draw pile again and see how this plays out. Again, the six of hearts is going to go down, but we're going to wait. We're going to do this from the back end and we're going to do this uh, nine of clubs right here. And then now we'll do the eight of diamonds because we know we can't move this two of clubs yet. And, uh, oh, there's a good card for us, the Jack of Diamonds, which kind of has to be there because it's not in the draw pile. And then, of course, uh, we get the card we really want, the Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs can go up top. Three of Clubs can't go anywhere yet, but now we can move this to a club. So that's really good for us. We can also move the Ten of Spades and the last card, the Nine of Diamonds. We'll go back through this again, and let's see what we got here. We would like to move some of these cards here. So now we can move the two of clubs. So what we're going to do is we're not going to play every single card here. We're just going to play the six of hearts. And we're going to come back because this two of clubs is going to drop and we can play that two of clubs. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're only going to play the two of clubs first and then we're going to play the eight. Where the eight of clubs will drop down. Because right now the five of hearts is going to bottleneck us and we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and go back. And here we have it. We have the two of clubs. We're just going to play that. The thing about this five of spades is it's always available as long as this next card that pulls down uh, is on top. So let's go ahead and go through the draw pile one more time. All right, we've got the draw pile set up here. And uh, let's see what our next card. We're going to play this Eight of Clubs. Going to go forward and see what the next card is. The next card is a Five of Spades. So that can be played down as well. So we're just going to cycle through again. Oops. Oh, no, the Five of Hearts. Excuse me. Five of Hearts is the next card. So in this circumstance, we're going to do this differently. We're going to start moving cards out and then try to move the five of hearts uh the other cards last so this card will go up top 
Seven of Diamonds will go down. And now, of course, we can start whittling these cards down to the uh, foundation pile. Uh, keep in mind the most important tip is just to think in terms of how your move at the beginning of the draw pile impacts the rest. Here we can move the Six of Clubs and the Five of Hearts. Now back to my point in, in being smart with the draw pile. If we can do that uh, successfully, we're going to be able to solve a lot more puzzles. And this will be a lot more fun as uh, we're going to win a lot more often. And of course, that's going to wrap this up. I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Good luck.